Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive Channel. I'm going to quickly break down this year's Billboard Music Awards. It was very boring and lackluster, but I sat and watched it so I have no one to blame but myself. <laughs> anyway, let's start from the beginning. Now Taylor Swift opened up the show and she performed her song, Me, featuring Brendan Urie from Panic at the Disco. And I kind of noticed that Taylor Swift's performance mimic Beyonce's Coachella performance. Now Taylor decided to open up her set with a drum line and then she strutted out like Beyonce did at her Coachella performance. And I couldn't help but think that she low key copied Beyonce's opening. Now the rest of Taylor's performance was different from Beyonce but that particular part of her performance really was reminiscent of Beyonce's Coachella performance. And it kind of brings me back to some years ago when Taylor Swift tried to mimic Beyonce's formation performance with her video, Look What You Made Me Do. So I'm kind of peeping what's going on. It's clear that Taylor Swift is studying Beyonce, but she doesn't want to seem too obvious. However, people on social media did point it out. A blog called The Neighborhood Talk did take some screenshots of people's comments on Twitter. One person said, is Taylor Swift really trying to be Beyonce, hashtag knockoff, hashtag your trash, hashtag billboard awards, hashtag you tried it. And another person said, wow, Taylor Swift, so you're just gonna copy Beyonce with the marching band? Someone else said, Taylor Swift, I'm gonna let you finish, but Beyonce had the greatest marching band performance of all time. And another comment said, Beyonce headlines Coachella with an all black drum line and band. Taylor Swift opens up the Billboard Music Awards with a mostly white drum line playing off beat. Can't wait for everyone to praise her originality. The shade. Another comment said, Taylor Swift wasted no time biting off Beyonce, shake my head, and looks and sounds crazy per usual. And lastly, someone said, so I guess Miss Taylor Swift wanted to see how it feels to be Beyonce. <laughs> Anyway, let me talk about some other performances. Sierra performed her song, Thinking About You, and I must say, I thought this was the best performance of the night. I think Sierra puts on a good show. She was high energy, she was dancing, a lot of her moves were very Michael Jackson-esque, but she was killing it though. I really liked her performance, and I like seeing Sierra just happy and glowing. You could tell she's in a really good place in her life. And I'm glad that she gets the opportunity to perform at major award shows like this. So kudos to Sierra. Another performance that I enjoyed was Kelly Clarkson. I think Kelly Clarkson is an amazing singer. Kelly Clarkson is actually the host of the Billboard Awards and she always does a good job. She actually performed her song, Broken and Beautiful, which was a very sweet performance. Now let's talk about BTS for a minute. BTS has some extreme Fans, I mean extreme. Every time the camera panned to them and every time they were mentioned, you could hear people screaming. And I'm just like, what in the world? Is it that serious, y'all? Is it really that serious? If you don't know who BTS is, BTS is currently the biggest boy band in the world. They are a K-pop group and they are huge in Asia and they're huge all over the place. So they're doing it big and I'm happy for their success. They won a Billboard Award for Best Duo and Group and they also performed their hit song, Boy With Love, featuring Halsey, and I thought their performance was decent. K-pop groups in general always have high energy music and a lot of choreography. So that's kind of what BTS had in their performance. Now, the next performance I wanna talk about is Mariah Carey. I love Mariah Carey, I'm a huge fan of hers, but I will say I was very underwhelmed with her performance. She performed a medley of some of her biggest hits and her vocals weren't all the way there. <laughs> they just weren't there tonight, but don't get me wrong, I believe that Mariah Carey can still put on a show. I actually went to see her in concert this year and she's amazing, but her performance tonight wasn't the best. Besides that, Mariah did get honored with the Icon Award, which is long overdue. She's so deserving of it and I really loved her acceptance speech. The last performance I wanna talk about is Madonna's performance. Madonna performed with an artist named Maluma. Correct me if I'm saying that wrong, but she performed this song. And I have to say her performance was kind of weird. She had holograms on stage and I always find holograms kind of creepy. There was just a lot going on on stage. And I have to be honest, Madonna is the type of artist who uses a lot of props and effects on stage to overshadow her mediocrity because without all of that, you'll see how weak her voice is and how weak her dancing is. 
she was so stiff on that stage i was like paula abdul needs to come and show her some things because paula slayed her performance and she showed the world that it doesn't matter what age you are you can still get down on the dance floor i do want to say congratulations to all of the winners um drake won pretty big he actually won top album on the billboard 200 charts and he won top male artists and he also won top overall artists and Drake actually broke the record for receiving the most Billboard Awards. In fact, he has 27 Billboard Awards in total, so that's pretty big. And also, Cardi B won top rap song, and she won top song on the Billboard 100 charts, and Ella Mae won top R&B artist. So congratulations to all of the winners. I'm sure they received more than that because the Billboard Awards did not televise all of the awards that were received, but congratulations to all of the winners. Anyway, tell me what you all think about this video down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.